creating and editing work planes is now much simpler and much easier in PowerMill 10. As well as several new work plane creation methods that we're going to talk about in a second, some of the existing work plane creation methods that were only available from the curve editor have now been moved out of the curve editor into a more sensible and logical position within the PowerMill interface. This means that we can access these work plane creation methods at any time without having the need to create and edit an active pattern. All of the work plane creation methods can now be accessed either by right clicking on the work plane entity within the PowerMill Explorer or if we take a look at the new status toolbar running across the very bottom of PowerMill we can see in the very left hand corner the new work plane toolbar which gives us quick and easy access to the work plane creation techniques. The first new work plane creation method we're going to look at is a work plane at a point. As you can see the work plane is attached to my cursor. I have a little menu bar appear which allows me to enter the work plane at a known coordinate by typing the values or alternatively using the intelligent cursor I can hover the work plane over the model and pick up on the key points to position the work plane. Next we're going to look at creating a work plane through three points. Now this functionality is not new to version 10 of PowerMill. This was available in version 9 but was only accessible through the curve editor. So this creation method works by snapping to three points on the model to position and orientate the work plane. The first point is our work plane origin. You can see again I've used the intelligent cursor to snap to this corner of the model. The second point is to define our x-axis. I want my x-axis to be along this edge. And the last point is to define the xy plane. And I want my xy plane to follow this edge. So if we activate that work plane, we can see we have quickly and easily aligned that work plane to the bottom face of this pocket. In previous versions of PowerMill, creating a work plane aligned to the block, for example in one of the top four corners, has always been difficult to do. In PowerMill 10, this procedure is now very simple and easy. First of all, I'll deactivate the work plane we created earlier. And I'll draw our block on the screen. From the new work plane toolbar, we can choose work plane align to block. And you'll notice that immediately spherical markers are drawn at all the key points on the block. So that includes all the corners of the block plus the midpoint along the block edges. So now I can simply hover my cursor over any one of these markers and the cursor is drawn in position and I just simply click with the left mouse button to position and create that work plane. The last new work plane creation method we're going to look at is the work plane aligned to the center of a selection. If I select all of my model and I go to work plane at the top of the selection then you can see the work plane is immediately created at that position. Likewise I can choose a work plane at the center of my selection Again, we can see the work plane at the center of the selection. And the last one we can choose is work plane at the bottom of the selection. So there we can see the work plane 
positioned at the very bottom in the very center of that selection. Obviously we don't have to select the whole model for this operation to work. For example, if I want to create a work plane at the center of this pocket here, first of all I select the selection. I'm going to activate this work plane. And then choose the work plane at the top of the selection. So there we can see the work plane positioned at the very center top of this pocket.